Charles IV, King of Bohemia and Holy Roman Emperor, had a long and successful reign. The empire he ruled from Prague expanded, and his subjects lived in peace and prosperity. When the emperor died, the whole empire mourned. More than 7,000 people accompanied him on his last procession. The heir to the throne of the flourishing empire was Charles' son, Wenceslas IV, whose father had prepared him for this moment all his life. But Wenceslas did not take after his father. He neglected affairs of state for more frivolous pursuits. He even failed to turn up for his own coronation as emperor, which did little to endear him to the Pope. Wenceslas the Idol did not impress the imperial nobility either. His difficulties mounted until the nobles, exasperated by the inaction of their ruler, turned for help to his half-brother, King Sigismund of Hungary. Sigismund decided on a radical solution. He kidnapped the king to force him to abdicate, then took advantage of the ensuing disorder to gain greater power for himself. He invaded Bohemia with a massive army and began pillaging the territories of the king's allies. It is here that my story begins. Same to you. Today's a scorch. <laughs> well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour? Blue-blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up then. 
quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm-hmm. Henry! Get up now. There's work to be done. Get up or I'll come get you up, you slug of bed. Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You'd better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Oh, don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself is all. Hmm. Well, just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. <sighs> state you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? I was sweating in the forage all day yesterday and then I was helping Fritz and Matthew with some errands. So I'd say I have a right to be a bit tired. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that suspicious-looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. So I'm learning to sword fight. And what of it? What harm does it do? At least I'll be able to defend myself. God above, Hal. You know how your father will react when he finds out. How? What's he gonna do? I'm doing nothing wrong. I just wanted to try it. On your own head be it then. I can't stop you. And you can deal with your father on your own. Don't come looking to me for help. Do you need me to do anything, Ma? Ah, you're a good lad. But I'm fine. It's your father needs helping with that sword. Is father angry with me for sleeping late? He's not happy. Yesterday you promised him you'd help finish that sword for Sir Radzig. He's not as young as he was. And you know how his joints pain him. He's too proud to complain. But he needs your help, Henry. I know. Don't worry, Ma. Of course I'll help him. Good. He always says his knees ache when there's a storm coming. I hope they're wrong this time. It's looking like such a nice day. Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. Not this again. Leave it lie, Mother. Can I get something to eat? I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself.
At least you're up. That's a start. Anyway, we've a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh? That drunkard? <laughs> That'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. Sure he'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sasau. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now. Work won't wait. God be with you. I'm with you, Henry. How are you? Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Sir Radzik, and the Chamberlain has the cross guard and grip. Father had them engraved in Sassau. Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? Where shall I start? Ah, shut up and give me what I want or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. Magnificent. Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I'd better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. You certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. God be with you, Kunesh. What do you want? My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. You know you owe father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard! 
Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. I must have misheard you. It sounded like you just told me to clear off. But you wouldn't be stupid enough to think you can steal, not pay your debts, and then try to scare me. Would you? You son of a whore. How dare you speak to me like that? Didn't your thieving father teach you any manners? No? Well, I'll teach you then. Chop you to... Enough of that. Oh, 
I haven't even started yet. Enough! Enough! I give up. Take what you want. It's not much, but it's all I have. You understand? Damn! Hey, watch it! Lout! God be with you. Let's have a word about the price. Why not?
Here. And, uh, something for your trouble. Well now, thank you very much. Hey, Pip, do you want to learn something? No, I don't think so. Thanks. Suit yourself. Elton. Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? Oh, it was nothing. Except Mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. But the world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. Spoken like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? Yes. All right, I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. Insulting our king. What insult? I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to. Had to? He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Kutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts, traitors. Now even the Pope. God be with you, Henry. I'm with you, Matthew. What's going on here? Deutsche spouting shit. What? Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the empire. <laughs> what do I care about the Austrians? And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. No, it's true, though. Wenceslas is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzik is Wenceslas' commander-in-chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this, he would have you whipped like a dog. Your deal will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund and... don't forget about Gutenberg, where Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but... Goodman Deutsch, this is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. My words exactly. Deutsch has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? I might have an idea. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson, doesn't he, Fritz? You're too wide, Matthew. You should give him a proper hiding. Are you mad? Do you want to end up in the pillory? Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit, it made me think of that huge pile of manure. You know, the one right next to his freshly whitewashed house. <laughs> you think we should redecorate for him? Count me in. Well, I'd rather torch it, to be honest. But, doing some turns will do. What do you say, Henry? But I was going to get ale for father and a, a few other things. 
We're finishing Saratic sword. Come on. Throwing a few handfuls of manure is not gonna take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. So, how? Are you with us? Not that I don't want to teach the Deutsche a lesson, but I really don't have time. Well, that's disappointing. Still, we can manage without you. Let's go, lads. Honestly, hell. How could you pass a good chance like this? So, is Henry going with us or not? Or not. Wait. We have to check that the coast is clear. Why? The Deutsch is in the tavern. But maybe you noticed after all these years that he has a wife and son. And that's a problem? Yes. Matthias, go and lure her away somehow. All right. You? I just wanted to tell you I was at the tavern and your husband was there making all sorts of strange proclamations. I'm worried something could happen to him. Well, he says the king is a drunk, Sigismund is doing the right thing, and I don't like to say the rest. It's not going down too well with the locals. Fire the trebuchet! For king and country! For king and country, my ass! This is all good, clean, fun! <laughs> Nearly as good as having that traitor in the pillory. Nearly. Now that would be sweet. <laughs> That's for Sigismund! Woohoo! Eat shit, Doshus! You bastards! What the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> hey, Hans, can't you see? We're decorating your house for you. It's like your old man was saying in a tavern about that traitor Sigismund. We're just doing what we have to do. Poor sons! I'll make those smiles off your faces! Oh, I'd like to see you try. What are you doing here, Zbizek? Hanging out with this poxy Deutsche? Maybe you'd like to try out the latest German fashion. <laughs> Fuck her! I'll make you pay for that!
Fucking run to. How did things end up at the Deutsches? His whole house is covered in shit. True, but I'm worried that fucker Hans will snitch on us. Well, let him. Then I'll snitch on him. And anyway, what can they do to us for throwing a bit of dung? Good point. It's not as if anyone really likes the Deutsch. Anyway, nice job at the Deutsches. Never a dull moment with you lot. <laughs> Jesus, look where you're going. God save, my lovely. You're looking well today. <laughs> you too, handsome. What brings you here? Your beauty, of course. <laughs> oh, noble sir. I'm as honored as any simple maid can be. And apart from my beauty, what else might your worship desire? I need ale for father. A pitcher as usual? Aye. Bring me a cool one from the cellar. <laughs> but of course. Here you are. Thanks. It's on me today. <laughs> you can pay me back this evening. Out of the question. Here you go. And this evening I'll have something more for you. <laughs> I can't wait. Thanks. 
You'll have something to look forward to this evening. <laughs> you too. Oh, um, by the way, that shifty-looking fellow was asking after you. Vanyan? I suppose. He is a man who makes his coin robbing honest wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But what in heaven's name are you up to with him? He promised to teach me how to use a sword. What use would that be to you? Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be going now. See you this evening. Hal, I've got something special for you. Is that so? Now what would that be? Your favourite, Savior Schnapps. Really? You're an angel. <laughs> I hope you'll thank me properly later. You bet I will. Yeah, give me a minute. So, can we get started? We can. Good. And since today is the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far. Very well. Let's start with the basics. Keep moving. Your life depends on it. Try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never repeat yourself. Stabbing. Try it a few times. Good, good. Let's try something else. One strike, I can fend off without a sweat. But if you chain your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. As soon as you land one blow, follow it with another. You have to work and work, and the main thing is to use what you've learned in real combat. There's nothing better than experience, believe me.
About time. Have you got everything I wanted? I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. Right. Let's see what kind of job the master in Sasal did for us. Look at that lad. That's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Damned if I know. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. Oh, this will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have we got the charcoal? Good. And fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. By the way, I heard some gossip about what happened to Deutsch. I expect you know something about it. Maybe. Maybe? Someone threw dung at Deutsch's freshly lime-washed house, maybe. And maybe those cronies of yours had something to do with it. That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the King. He got what he deserved. Oh, got what he deserved, did he? Look, I don't know if you're mixed up in this or if it's just those friends of yours. It's all the same to me. But I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody. Least of all the king. Do you understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. Good. Then we'll never have this conversation again. So you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of the king? Does that boy ever listen to a word I say? So Deutsch spouts rubbish, so what? You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth, not your fists. Furnace is ready. Right, we'll do the grip. I'll heat it up, and when I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. Do it. Good. Once more. That's it. Done. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the guard. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? Do you remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague and a score of castles. Had a bridge made over the Moldau, and founded a university. And all without a war, he knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Give it here, and we'll put it all together.
It's magnificent. Indeed it is. The Lord be with you. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. Henry, are you all right? <laughs> Here are those nails you wanted. Thanks. So, how's Bianca? Um, she's fine. Why do you ask? Just wondering, will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. That sword is truly beautiful. Fine lass, eh? Now stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. <laughs> we did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. Well, those days are gone, sir. Hmm. You haven't lost your skills, though. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a commoner? try it. You still have a lot to learn. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work, very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Svan? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls and I must leave. Here you are. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. They certainly will. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. It's been an honor, Sir Isvan. Have a safe journey to Sasau. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. A long, peculiar history. That was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it, like Sir Radzik said? Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. Huh. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. You talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in scallets here beneath the linden tree and by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world, meet new people. Meet them or beat them? Meet. Do you have to keep going on about it? <laughs> then you've no need to learn swordplay. A messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened?
listen to me, Al. Listen carefully. Take the sword, go into the house, and grab anything else important from the trunk. Go to the castle. Hurry! And what about you? Your mother is in the village. I'll fetch her and we'll follow right behind. I'll go with you. No! You'll do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sir Redzik. If anything happens, he'll take care of you. He owes me. Get, run! 